In this video, we want to learn how to download a version of Unity Engine and install it on our computer. After that, we will learn how to create a simple project in the Unity. And we will see the overall view of the editor and we will introduce a different parts of Unity Engine editor. In this step, we want to install the Unity Engine on our computer. For doing that, initially we need to come to the unity.com. It is the official website of Unity Engine uh, company and we can come down and in here in the download part we can see get unity and download archive i propose to click on get unity as a first step uh, we need to in download and install unity hub in fact the unity hub is a manager of the different versions of unity engine on our computers also in unity hub we can manage our our projects and launch every uh, one of them after install the Unity Hub, we need to open it and come to the Installs part. In here, we can click on Add and see all the current versions of uh, Unity and the best of them. Uh, if we want to install the, old, the oldest version, we can click on Download Archive and find it from that uh, page. But uh, we need to click on the recommended uh, release. Uh, I need to say something about LTS, Long Term Service. It is the best version of the Unity. Uh, I propose to install that version. It already has LTS of that. For example, 29, uh, 2019.4.32 is LTS so we can install this one this one or this one after that we need to click on this in here we can add some uh, custom modules on our unity engine for example if we want to uh, make a project for Android we need to install Android build support it uh, contains uh, Android SDK open JTK if we want to install uh, application make application for iOS we need to check on it uh, for Linux Mac WebGL or other things we can install if we want to uh, write and scripting our C sharp functions, it's better to use the Microsoft Visual Studio Community 2019 because it already has uh, libraries of Unity uh, functions and compilers in it. If we uh, have it, we don't need to install. If we don't have it, I propose to click on it and install it. Uh, once we click on next, it's try to download and install automatically the. Uh, that version 2020.3.21 on the uh, address of the Unity Hub in our computer. As a default, the address of Unity Hub is in the Drive C or Drive Windows uh, program file. But we don't need to do that because we already, uh, we already have it, 2020.3.10, it is LTS. However, we can install uh, different versions it's uh, if we want to use it for another project uh, we can have several uh, versions of unity and as you can see and this version support Android iOS Mac and IL2 CPP after that we need to come to the projects and in here in the new we can select which version we want to make the new project for them and in here we can select the position and location of that uh, project uh, 
for example right now in the project source I've selected here and we write the name of it scene maker uh, as a template of the default of our project we can add some uh, modules and some components to here I propose to keep it on 3d to be able to manage the size of the project and click on create okay we wait for the unity to launch and set up a new project for us in 2020.3.10 all right welcome to the new version of unity initially we want to know what is the steps of uh, inside of the unity editor and uh, overall view of the unity uh, parts for example we have hierarchy scene game project console and inspector and also other toolbars are here and here uh, at the first step we want to talk about the scene in fact uh, we have two scenes in uh, two views in here scene and game game it is that things uh, our users will see and it is the and uh, the view of our camera but scene it is exactly that things we can see in fact in the scene we can edit anything we want but in game we cannot edit so uh, everything in our in project it's called game object camera light 3d models particle systems UI and anything uh, they are game objects and the list of current game objects inside of our scenes uh, are in the hierarchy as you can see in our scene we have only two game objects main camera and directional light if we want to change any variables of each game object we need to click on them from hierarchy or from scene directly and see the variables in the inspector uh, we can see the transform of that game object position rotation and scale and other components attached to this uh, game object and change the variable of it for example we can change the color of light or intensity of our direction light or change the field of view of uh, our camera anyway uh, every contents we want to add to our projects must be inside of the assets folder so we can add any objects any 3d model 2d model uh, textures uh, text scripts animations sounds and any particle systems we have made from the uh, another projects we can add them by drag and drop or import uh, import package or import neo assets inside of the assets folder so uh, also we can uh, load and save several levels of our scenes in soft, inside of that uh, assets folder it is the overall parts of our uh, editor in here uh, we have file a new scene for creating a new level for our uh, project for example we have an empty scene or basic with camera or direction like we can keep it as a empty scene and create then if we want to save save this scene inside of the asset folder uh, scenes folder and call it level one if we want to load the sample scene open the scene and assets folder scenes folder sample scene and also we can create or open the project uh, from other sides and uh, load it as a separate unity editor and we can see the uh, several uh, platforms 
we can select and uh, continue our projects uh, with them for example PC, Mac, Linux, iOS, Android, Universal Windows Platform, TVOS, PlayStation, Xbox and WebGL However, we have to install the specific module for each one. For example, at the beginning, we have uh, installed the iOS and Android, but for uh, tvOS, uh, PlayStation and Xbox, we have to have uh, license for them, then uh, install a specific plugin for a PlayStation or one of these and use it. Let's keep it as a PC platform and continue to the other types. Uh, in edit, we can see some common functions inside of the, our editor. For example, select all, cut, copy, paste, duplicate, or other things. Uh, if we want to move inside of our uh, scene, we need to hold right click of mouse and rotate our mouse to be able to see other sides of our uh, level uh, for mo moving forward or uh, move around uh, in uh, inside of our scene we need to hold the right click then press W forward E up Q down S backward D right and a left however we can do all of these functions simultaneously okay in the assets we can import any unity packages from anywhere asset store other uh, online shops or other uh, projects we have created as a unity package from them or even we can export our contents our scripts our 3d models or prefabs as an uh, unity package and import them inside of uh, other projects or give it to the other guys and in the game objects we can add some 3d models which has unity as a default for example cube uh, or oh sorry uh, sphere or cylinder as you can see they are here also we can add some particle systems or uh, point light I keep the point light in this position and change the color from the inspector uh, to red to better understanding to it. all of these uh, parameters and objects are game objects and as you can see we and they are listed inside of the hierarchy and we can access them and click on each one and change the variables inside of the inspector in the component uh, we can add some com default components from unity to each object for example mesh renderer effects physics gravity uh, box glider or other type of a glider, uh, hint, joint, on uh, fixed and joint as a magnetic effect, uh, physics for 2D navigation for auto movement objects from point A to point B, uh, and audio effects for each one, and video player, and other things. Even we can write our scripts and uh, add uh, a specific script and functions to each uh, game object. And also in the window, uh, we can see several uh, parts of the editor manager. For example, we can see and select the um, theme of our editor from here, layout, or from here, layout. And we can see our editor look like this, or we can see our editor look like this but I prefer to keep it as default and we can have an access to package manager it is the uh, very best part of unity editor uh, unity has made some uh, 
plugins and packages for uh, better game making or simulator makings for example it has AR foundation for augmented reality or um, a, a ex exporter of that objects we have created by uh, default objects of unity or even um, I don't know post process for some uh, visual effects of the camera and some cinematic effects of the camera and other plugins we can add them um, easily and uh, freely uh, into our projects and use them to uh, improve the quality and uh, professionality of our game and simulator okay uh, I want to move or uh, modify some ob uh, objects in inside of our scene for example I click on this cube and I want to move it we can change the number of position X Y Z in here or use these arrows if you want to move your objects accurately I propose to keep the numbers in here or if you want to use it very fast uh, use these arrows we can change the rotation by these arrows as well or change the variables in here 45 and it is the same for a scale change the scale of Z or in here or change all parameters at the same time we can do these uh, actions for several objects simultaneously keep the holding the left control and click on cube sphere and cylinder and move them at the same time or scale them or rotate them and we can press ctrl s for saving okay let's go to the next step uh, and the next step we want to create a train and create a beautiful ground for our level 